Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the What's Old Sunday on a Monday. Yeah, and we're kind of, you know, we're deviating from the normal what's sold. We're not just going to roll through every single sale and bore you to tears. That's 62 things this week. 62? Yeah. Man, we were busy. This is going to be the most action-packed, under-the-hood look at our business that we've ever done. Yes. Uh, we, we planned this video full of tips and tricks. We are opening up our analytics. You can see how long things have been listed and what they actually sold for and how much we co it costs to ship them. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna give you some Bolo brands that are like out of this world to be looking for. That's right, so pay attention, people. The whole video is gonna be really good. We planned this one. We tried. This we is tried, for you. We tried really hard. It's for all the new people. <laughs> Welcome. We have a lot of new subscribers. Thank We've you. gotten a, a nice little bump in the past couple of weeks. So we're thankful for that. And my my ponytail is pretty high, so you know we had a pretty good week. That's right. That it's is the barometer. Right. Okay. The first sale uh, that we're going to talk about <laughs> is this gray Eileen Fisher skirt. Um, this thing sold for thirty three ninety five. Not bad. It was just okay. like cotton tinsel. It was like a regular casual. Yep. The reason we picked this one, we picked these, curated them, mm -hmm. twenty one of them for you. Yes. Uh, it's because I hear on YouTube all the time that skirts don't sell, and I hear that you should list only seasonal things. Well, no and no. No and <laughs> no. But I mean, okay, to be fair, we did list this thing in June. Yep. So it had been sitting for about six months, but skirt sold in the winter, so. List your shiz. List it. doesn't matter it. what it is. <clears throat> Get it up there and it, you just never know. People right. go on vacations. That's right. Or they live in Australia. Yeah, you never know. Turn on your global shipping and get it out of here. Um, we paid, uh, what, three ninety nine to ship it, and we paid $6.05 for, uh, for the item. After fees, we made $19.63 profit on that. That's pretty on good. Just that one item, not bad. Uh, we shipped that first class, and we ship most things like that that are under $50 in a poly mailer. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Number two was a three pack of Rogaine foam that we found in a closet when we moved into the house. No, when we toured the house. <laughs> I was like, Dan, if we buy this house, I'm selling that Rogaine. <laughs> and we yes. did. We bought the house and then, you know. So the moral Look. here, the reason why we picked this one is like sell anything. Yeah, it you don't have to. You don't have to like curate your Poshmark closet or anything. Like if there's stuff around your house, sell it. Yeah, like if you're, especially if you're newer and you're like just getting started, try different stuff. You know, if you are a well-established reseller and you have found your thing, sure. By all means, for sure, stick with that. But. If you're new and dabbling and trying stuff out, like buy all, try everything out. Why not? Don't this be sold, afraid of the row game. It, it sold for fifty four ninety five. Yes. So that's a that's a great deal for somebody. You know my motto is if it has a barcode, I'll sell it. That's exactly right. You can go to the eBay app. And, how long did it take to sell? By the way, do you know? Uh, it looks like about seven months. Okay. Something like that. Hey. But if you click on the eBay app on the icon with the camera, mm -hmm. you can scan barcodes if you didn't know that. And it's so easy. So if you're at the store, at the store you can just do, 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 do. Yeah. And then it fills in your listing. I that love it. That's the greatest. I it's love the it. Best. Oh, hey, buddy. Mojo's yeah. here. Mojo is here. He is hanging. Oh. We have a lot of new people that are meeting up. Mojo. <laughs> oh. He's the internet's favorite cat. He is. He's 21. All right. He's almost going to be 22. He's a 2000 model, man. They just don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Vintage cat. All right. <laughs> this, uh. Wait, he is vintage. He is. He's a vintage cat. Okay, uh, this is a Brooks Brothers full suit that we sold where? On Poshmark, of all places. Go figure. For... You can't sell menswear on Poshmark. Okay, men... not only was it menswear, it was a tan suit. That sold in December. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, right? That was not political. Literally... $67. He made the tan suit popular again. Right, because it was controversial. <laughs> but this is... A tan suit's a summer suit, so it shouldn't have sold right now again. Yeah, yeah. And it was a full suit that sold on Poshmark. 
And it was listed a long time. It really was. was like it? a year. Was that one listed a full year? It really was. Wow. Mm-hmm. So that's the other... That's the other side of the coin? Or yeah, flip part, side. Flip side. For menswear is you have to be willing to let it sit for a little while. Yep. Because the person who's looking for a suit, it's, you know, it's got to fit everywhere pretty close so that they can get it tailored if they need to. Right. It's, so. that, it's that whole needle in the haystack situation. Yeah. So that's good though. And we made some good money and on Posh it was great because we can ship in any box. And so a full size suit is pretty heavy. So it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah, because on eBay, the size of box so it had to have gone in in the weight. We're talking probably anywhere between 10 to 12 bucks in shipping. Easy. Maybe Minimum. Yeah, maybe 14. Maybe. Depending on where they lived, True. it could be different. Anyway, yeah. yeah. What's next? Next was this super sweet North Face coat. Uh, it was not like a regular, you know, short jacket. It was a longer coat with a hood. Um, we got it at where? Goodwill. Goodwill. Right? Yeah. And it sold for 90 bucks on Mercari. That's why we picked this one. Because yeah. everyone tells us when we first started, put your low dollar stuff on Mercari. Well, this coat sold for full price on Mercari. So I'm not sure that that advice stands anymore. Yeah. Full asking price, no offer, just sold. We don't normally recommend, and it sold quickly. I yeah. think we bought that relatively quickly, like a month. And normally we don't pick up North Face anymore because it's priced up. But if you have a thrift store that has flat rate pricing like we do at our Goodwill, yeah. not all of the thrift stores here are flat price, just Goodwill. And so we've tried to pick up coats and things like that that would normally be marked up. And that's another tip for you if you're trying to source. Uh, also just the regular like Denali jackets from North Face, don't pay up for those. Yeah. They don't go as well as they used to. All right. This sale is a story about customer service. Ah. Right? So we had somebody reach out about this. This is a Coors Light can refrigerator. Uh, it's like a mini. Who's cool? Mini refrigerator shaped like a Coors Light can. We were definitely going to buy it. Like there was no way it was staying in yeah, the Yeah, I was store. not not leaving without it. Um, <laughs> And it's Dan, sold. Wait, Dan plugged <laughs> it in to make sure it cooled. He let it plug it in for a long time at the store. <laughs> He's getting cold. Okay. It's getting cold. Right. <laughs> um, sold for $114.95 with shipping. Uh, somebody reached out to us and was like, hey, I need this super fast. Can you rush? Uh, can you expedite shipping? I'll pay extra if I have to. And we're like, I mean, when you need a Coors like cooler can, you mini need fridge, it, you, you need, need it now. <laughs> That's right. So I was like, sure, let me check, you know, ship it, give me your address, let me check the shipping rates, and I'll let you know if there's going to be extra charge. Um, so I checked the shipping rates, and it turned out that what they were paying was actually, uh, it was just under what it was going to cost, because I underestimated the size of the box a little bit, so it ended up being a little bit more expensive. But regardless, I shipped it UPS uh, Second Day Air for $22. Bucks. Uh, they were happy we're happy that's Everybody's great they happy. got it in time yeah. um if you look at the screenshots we're putting up you can see the first number is the all-in payment i we should have described this at the beginning yeah sorry where it says price sold that is including shipping and then the next number is uh fees so, so that's from the platform right so whether it's ebay mercari or poshmark or whatever that's the fee that the platform charged us then you've got the cost of item which is cost of goods what we paid for the Including Whatever. tax for us, if applicable, we now have a tax-free. We do a reseller. Yeah, about halfway, what halfway through the year, we started. We got our tax-free form. That's but this number is accurate because I input this data into Vendu yeah. after each sale, and this is Vendu. If you're wondering. Yep. So the shipping label cost us twenty-two bucks. So this left us with a net profit on this item of sixty-three dollars and ninety-eight cents. Nice. nice. I think it's important to show this because. So many times we hear about what something sold for, but we don't know what you paid for it. You could have paid 50 bucks for that fridge. Right. Or, you yeah. know what I mean? We yeah, don't know actually sure. what the profit numbers and how much shipping costs. And I think this kind of like look under the hood is, is pretty beneficial. Thumbs up if you think it's beneficial. Okay. We're showing you everything. We're showing it. All right. 
Why do you want to tell the people about this Webkins? That's Webkins are having a moment. What is happening? Why? I do not know. Okay. But we normally sell Webkins if they have the little code. Don't ask. We got into plush a little while ago. It's it's a thing. We actually sold the most plush this week we've ever sold. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Actually. But all I was going to say is if you see Webkins out and about, pick them up. They're trending. We've sold a lot of them. But and so have everybody else. Yeah, they have to have this, the they seal. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't even have to. They don't. We sold one the other day without one. I don't know why. I, I was at the Goodwill trying to find more. <laughs> Please. I was digging through it. My little feet were hanging out. That was great. I'm going to find this. Like this. Uh, anyway, I, we didn't make a ton of profit. No. But um, you can see what we made. I don't yeah. remember. All right. This was a one of our rare direct sales that we had. This is a Squishmallow Corgi that we sold to a good friend of ours. We used to be afraid to do direct sales, so that's why I wanted to bring this up. Yeah. Uh, we didn't want to be like people who are on YouTube using viewers to buy our merchandise. Right. But instead of that, if you know people that would like your stuff, they probably want to support you. So don't be afraid of showing off the goods. Right. Like, if you know a friend that loves corgis, be like, I found this. It's in my eBay store. And maybe you can do a direct. If they look at it, they like the pictures yeah. and avoid the fees. That's yeah, all so I'm saying. so thanks. Thanks. Thanks for buying this. That's from Janice. Thanks, Janice. Or her daughter. Much appreciated. Okay. Next, we have... Oh, you wanted to talk about this guy. This is a Podbelly raccoon from the 80s. And he sold for thirty eight ninety four with shipping. We love any kind of plush that's from the 80s or the 70s that has a date on it. We love it. Yeah. Uh, we also love to price it high, and that's what... What do we price this at? Let's go through the numbers. Uh, it sold for $38.94. $38.94. So that yeah. includes shipping. Mm -hmm. And what do we pay for it? Uh, $1.09. $1.09. And what did we... How much did it cost to ship? $8.49. And... Oh. Uh -huh. It must have been a big boy. Yeah, you stuffed it into a flat rate. So as soon as you rate. go over a pound, then we start getting to the eight dollar <clears throat> range. Yep. And so how much profit did we make? Almost twenty four bucks. Okay. So just under. So I watched another reseller this week sell this exact same raccoon. They didn't price it high enough, and they sold theirs for fourteen all in. Oh. Or not all in, fourteen plus shipping, and we ended up making twenty one dollars profit on it because I just almost twenty four. I just priced it high. I yeah. priced it higher than everything else because I thought it was a nostalgic gift that someone would be willing to pay more. And I think, this is me, this is my theory, <laughs> that the higher you price it, not astronomical, I mean, I priced it at $38. <clears throat> yeah. But people think it's a better one. They're like, oh, I'm going to get this as a gift. I'm going to get the good one. I, it's only a couple bucks more. I would agree with that. Yeah. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. Try it out. I tried. The, the same thing works with, like, with menswear. Really? For sure. Yeah. Hmm. I noticed when I started pricing it higher, it more stuff sold. See? Hot tip right Hot here. Hot tip! Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little shirt. Let's hug. Oh! Oh! This is Dan. If you're <laughs> new here and you don't know who Dan is, this is Dan. He's the let's hug it out guy. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> okay. Uh, this. Oh, this is for you. This is, this is for me. Yeah. This I is think a, it's good to learn. Yeah, this is a Fisher Price Coda Pillar. Um, I picked this up and I looked it up at the Goodwill, and the comps were not great. Okay, but this is today's lesson day. This is a lesson in sell through rate. Okay, I picked this thing up and I noticed that there were I'm gonna just ballpark 200 something listings. Okay, when I checked solds, there was like 800 solds. Wow. Okay? Yeah. So these things were selling like crazy. Again, not for big money, but I knew it was gonna sell really fast. That's why I bought it. And that's called a conversion. Yeah. And we love those. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it only sold for $29.95. Um, had, had it had more of the segments, it would have been worth more money. Oh, okay. Yeah, but. And then what happened? Because there's another part to this story. It sold part overnight. B. It sold overnight, <laughs> but keep going, keep but, going. There was another lesson learned. Yeah, it was a little bit expensive to ship. It was heavy. Because it was heavy. 
We tried mm-hmm. every kind of box, every, and we couldn't put it in a poly mailer because of electronics. Yeah. And we had to bubble wrap it. It was just, and then so I think what did we end up profiting? Um, ten, just bare ten dollars. <laughs> That's fine because we make mistakes, right? Yeah. But we wanted to share that with you so you could understand the difference between sell-through rate. And actually, sometimes we do buy things like that just to get the quick conversion that we know is going to happen. Mm-hmm. And then it'll help us sell things all day long. Right. Because... There's cat hair. <laughs> it's flying around. Watch out. Um, eBay likes it when you sell stuff. So if you list stuff that will sell quickly, we feel... I mean, we've noticed it for sure. You sales beget sales so your store will start right you'll start rolling so look for those high sell through rates but also consider weight yeah for sure <laughs> we're getting better i promise all right let's see we've got a this is a unique item this is way out of our comfort zone okay this is something we picked up at a online auction uh it's a welch allen 767 it's the thing that hangs on the wall in the doctor's office where they look into your eyes and ears with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Tell them how much you paid for this. I paid a lot of money for this. We don't pay more than like $10 for anything. How okay, much you here, pay? Uh, here's what happened. Okay. Here's what happened. <laughs> Break it down. Mojo was getting it down. The auction listing... First, okay, the title of the auction listing kind of got me because they put like, you know, a bunch of caps and dollar signs and like... Were there emojis? No, but there probably (laughs) would have been. Um, So I looked it up on eBay and I looked up for solds and there were very high dollar solds, like in the $700 range, 500, you know? So I was like, okay, I paid like a hundred and twelve. $20 $20 for this thing? Yeah, right? we only paid $12 for the Coors fridge, and that felt like a lot. A hundred something? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta pay up. $127.65 to be exact with a uh, buyer's premium. But like I said, I thought I was getting something worth, like, that could easily flip for like five to $700. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Guess not. I mean, it's still sold. Overnight. Very quickly. But we priced it a little bit lower. We priced it at two hundred eighty-two ninety-four, which, okay, still pretty high. But in comparison to the cost of goods, eh, not so great. We still made a hundred dollars profit. Yay! I love it, but it was a risk <clears throat> for sure. It was a risk, and we're trying those things out now that our business is about three years old. We're trying higher dollar flips. Yeah, we have a little bit more capital that we can. Just Roll the dice with larger stuff on. And you can Sometimes. watch our videos to see how it works out and if it will work out for you, hopefully. Yeah. We just were dabbling. And the reason that we priced it a little bit lower was we, we saw that there were different models of this that were, some of them had a screen, some of them had an extra head, some of them had, and then when Dan was looking through the auction, I think you probably looked quickly mm-hmm. and didn't like get into the nitty gritty, but it's I all mean, we're learning. Yeah. I love to learn and make $100 at the same time. For sure. Like I said. It's my favorite way to learn. It, it could have been a much costlier lesson. It wasn't costly at luckily, all. Uh, luckily, it wasn't. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm excited about it, actually. I love making $100. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the J. Crew Schoolboy Blazer that you knew would also sell. Um, you knew for sure it would sell. 100%. Yeah. So there are certain <clears throat> things from certain brands, and if you watch enough YouTube videos, you'll start to understand and remember them. The J. Crew Schoolboy Blazer is a classic, and people love it. So I was in Denver with our friend Chelsea Thrifting. Hey, hey Chelsea. And there were two, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get these. Because I was traveling, I couldn't get a lot of things. But I'm like, this will definitely sell. I'm going to get it. And I was going to get both of them. Oh, the cat's falling. He did not like that. <laughs> he, he's good. He didn't really fall. He just slid. He was not very graceful. <laughs> okay. <He's> so <laughs> one of them was in worse condition than the other. This one was in like new condition. They were identical. Yeah. And I guess this was the backup. <laughs> um, yeah. So I bought this. Fi- I knew it would sell. And it sold for fifty eight ninety four, which is great. Yeah. I highly recommend if you remember anything from J. Crew. J. Crew does sell, uh, you know, Tekken Sports says under $20, any J. Crew will sell. 
Well, I'm always looking for the J. Crew that will sell above that. And this, for is, sure. this is one of those kind of sure flips. Yes. In good condition. Yes. This is a sure flip in not so great condition. Oh, good segue. Yes, thank you. Uh, this is a Carhartt dad hat that was totally thrashed. Thrashed. It, it was, I mean, there was oil stains on it. It was in rough, rough shape. And it sold like overnight. <laughs> for $22. There we go. He's like, no, I ain't going back up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. So Carhartt, the, the lesson is, the, the even if it's thrashed, get it. Yes. So in fact, if it's thrashed, definitely get definitely it. Definitely <laughs> get it. It will sell faster. I put in the listing, our, what, something worn like, in. worn yes. in look. <laughs> and it sold immediately. It was great. Um, this was also another super fast uh, sale, overnight sale. God, we love these. Love them. Uh, this is a pair of Merrill um, Sherpa lined, uh, what do you call these? Claws? Mules. Mules? Mules. Okay. These sold for $40 with shipping. Okay, I have a little bit of a lesson here. Okay. I bought, I know Merrill sells. We went on an old people cruise one time. Everybody's wearing Merrill's. So it does sell no matter what they look like. But the inside lining has the size on it. Ah. And sometimes people replace that because it gets all nasty. I bought a pair the week before. Oh, they're Merrill's. I'm gonna put them in the car. We're gonna get them. We got them home. I can't listen because I don't know what size they are. Oh. So make sure to check that the lining has the size in any shoes that you buy, actually, because buying shoes without size is very hard to resell. Yeah, that's tricky. It makes it. Tricky. I still, three years in, can't remember to look for sizes on shoes. You're just like, oh, those are nice. I know. <laughs> like in a trance. I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> right. Oh, this one's good. This one's good. I saw this sitting on the shelf at the Goodwill. This is a vintage um, baking soda box holder from Fitz and Floyd. You put your box of baking soda in this, and then you put it in the fridge. Well, why did you pick this up? I picked it up because it was super unique. Totally. Super unique. I mean, I noticed it. I was like, what? It's like is... this guy, like... Yeah, he's like <laughs> holding his nose, like... I'm like, this is Something. super interesting. I'm like, what? And then it still had the sticker on the side that said, hmm, baking soda holder. I was like, oh, okay. And it's from the 70s. Uh, and I looked it up and there was only He's fine. one sold comp for like 50 bucks. So I took it home, priced it for 60 and it sold. Pretty quickly. Yeah, within a week. Yeah, yeah, within a week. Well, you can look at the dates. We have the dates now, you guys. Hey. Everyone was asking for transparency. I don't know how much more transparent <laughs> we can get. This is literally how we keep our books. Yeah, you're looking at... <laughs> you're in our books. You're seeing it. Okay. Oh, you'll remember these from the bins haul we did. Yes. This is a pair of Doc Martens that survived the <laughs> baking process. We bake all... <laughs> Okay, there's people <clears throat> here. We put all of our clothing and plush into a heater that gets up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit to ward off any bed bugs or fleas that may be in them. And it's in our garage because I am an absolute freak about it. I do not want to have any bugs in my house ever, and it like freaks me out. So, yeah. but and Dan he, didn't know not to put the shoes in there. I didn't know. Because it just, melts the glue. I, it melted the shoe. It was no good. But you know what? It did not melt it, these docks. The docks were tough, man. They stuck it through. <laughs> and look at that. They sold for $125. Full price. Yes. Poshmark. Poshmark. What? Well, and these things were ugly. I mean, like 90s. They, they were, they're they were they not like trendy right like now. Ni like 1992. Like, yeah. Like square toe. They were square toe. <laughs> And they, they were just not that cute. But they were all chunky, and but they were in good condition. They were in really good condition, yeah. And we <clears throat> got two cartfuls that day at the bins and paid $65, and the profit on those paid for our whole trip twice. Yeah, because the cost broke down to, what, 84 cents is what we paid per item at the bins? And, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, speaking of ridiculous, right? Hey. Tell the people about this new bolo brand that you just learned about all right your girl loves art to wear i love anything an art teacher would wear like that's who i want to be in my life i was an art teacher but i want to like live that life you know what i'm saying 
like with all the beads and the crazies and the crossies and the buttons and the burks. I want all of it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I got the burks. Check. And the socks. Check. Okay. So I was flipping through the racks of Goodwill and I saw this. It was a chambray shirt and it was an asymmetric and it was really cool. The stitching, all the buttons were different on it. Oh, it was perfect. I mm -hmm. have to get it. I check every time. And it was a brand called Krista Larson. It was a sewn in tacked on tag, which means it was tacked in the four corners. So that. It's a clue. Mm, I'm like, that might be high end because it, you know, you have to hand do that. Yeah. And I looked it up. Oh my God. So the comps are crazy. This, this shirt was nowhere because it's all individual pieces, which is great. So I kind of just pack, priced it in the middle of the pack. Like, I, it was... This was in the middle of the pack? It was in the middle of the pack. Because the other stuff was more ornate and more colorful, and this was kind of a basic. Okay. So I priced it in the middle of the pack, just like, oh, dabble. We'll see. I'll probably take $100. You know, like, if somebody offered that, I would take it. Right. You know okay. what I'd sell for? Tell them. $178.95. Like, overnight. Yeah. Not even overnight, like four hours. Yeah, it was crazy. So I may have underpriced it. Maybe. It was unassuming. Like, if you see this, Krista Larson, like, if you see this brand, yeah, the sell-through rate is insane. Whether or not we underpriced it, we no. still made $140 profit on it. So thank you very much. Okay. So people ask us how we go sourcing, how often. We go sourcing every single day. This mm -hmm. is our new thing. We go to the Goodwill. And we, we talked about it today. We probably spend 75 bucks a day at Goodwill on, on average. average. Yeah. Today we spent a little more, I a little think. More today. A little more today. A little more. But look, you get one thing like this. This was on the dress rack, and I got charged for a shirt. So it was only $5.99. It said $8.99. What? Oh, it was a dress. They yeah. did charge me with a dress. I think this is the one I tried to get by. And she yeah. was like, no, it's a dress. Yeah. And I was like, ah. Oh. Um, because it was a shirt. It's not a dress. It's a tunic. But it was on the dress rack because it was oversized, etc. Anyway, yeah. And that pays for two days of goodwill. It does. And yeah. how many other things have you heard in this today that we flipped overnight? So going to the goodwill and spending a little bit each day has been very lucrative for us. For us, it's working. It's yeah. working. I don't know about for you, <clears throat> but for us it's working. Right. And it's right down the street. It's so good. We could walk, but we don't. <laughs> Why'd you have to tell them that? Well, because we, we, we would... New Year's resolutions, we're going to walk. We need a cart. We would need a cart to <gasps> lug all this stuff oh, back. Oh, that's what we need when there's wheelie carts. Oh, yeah, man. What is this hair doing? It's making me crazy. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> this is a Bear in the Big Blue House VHS tape. Why are we it's, sharing a VHS tape? Because it's sold for $19.51. Okay. We sell a ton of these. And we're letting you in on a little secret. Barney, little, what, I don't even know what it's called. Bear in the Big Bear, Blue Bear, blues. Blues, blues <laughs> starting to... We yeah. don't care. If it's, it's, if it's a colorful VHS from the 90s, we pick it up for like 50 cents. Yeah. And then we flip them. They always flip. So if you want some consistent things to get your eBay store going, I'm telling you. Yeah, those old Nickelodeon VHS tapes. Are. If you're watching this three years in the future, it might not be relevant anymore. But right now, December 2021. Yeah. Worth checking out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're selling VCRs, man. To go with the VHSs. Is this a VCR? No, this is the tape deck. Sorry. Oh. Uh, this was also a Facebook local sale. He's Love right. it. Uh, this was a Kenwood dual, uh, dual tape deck that sold for how much? 60 bucks. And that was great because A, you Cash. don't have any fees. Yeah. And so we started listing some of the higher end and more heavy things on Facebook mm -hmm. and it's been really great. Yeah. We've sold a few things here and there. Yep. It's we list it for shipping as well, but we've had people, we live in Dallas, so we have a lot of people on Facebook. Local marketplace. Lo yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm totally yeah. blind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that, yeah. This sale really, this was great. This was a board <laughs> this game. This was just great. It was. No, like, I forgot how much I listed this for. Yeah, and you then, just felt it in your heart when you bought it. Yeah. You knew it. This was a uh, Lord of the Rings edition of Risk. Okay. Uh, it wasn't sealed in the plastic anymore, 
However, all the cards were still sealed. Mm. So somebody had opened it and was like, nah. And then put <laughs> it all back. <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> Luckily, I know. All the pieces were still there, all the little army pieces, the ring, which was like probably very important, all the cards, everything. The Lord needed it. Exactly right. <laughs> um, it sold for one sixty four ninety four. Wait. I'm all in. What? Yeah, one hundred sixty-four dollars and ninety-four cents. Okay, so for a game that I paid two dollars and ninety-nine cents for. I'm all in here looking. Yes. Okay. I know it's amazing. So you made a hundred and twenty-six dollars profit on this. Uh huh. Yeah. Nerd stuff sells, y'all. Yeah. Don't forget so, it. Like the special editions of Risk, the nerdier the better. Right? <laughs> No, I'm serious, and I mean that in the oh, best way really possible. Oh, we have a really nerdy one over I just, there. I just got a Game of Thrones one. So that one should do just as well as this. When we're saying nerds, we're saying that with love in our hearts, because Dan here is the biggest nerd of all time. Yeah. So we're not like, no, I mean, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't get any of it. I never even, I don't even know what any of that stuff means, but it does sell. So I always bring him stuff. I'm like, is this nerdy enough? Yes, perfect. <laughs> so look for those dragons and all that kind of stuff. Oh, man, for sure. Anything with dragons. No. Not anything. Anyway. Also, don't get regular <laughs> risk. That doesn't do well. Yeah, like regular Monopoly. Yeah, same, don't, same deal. Ain't nobody got time for that. We ain't have time. Don't, mm -hmm. don't do no. that. Okay, here's the VCR that sold. <laughs> this was a, this is an auction buy. It was not new in the box, but it still had the box. I don't know if it was used, but like I said, open box condition, super great. I paid up for it, 12 bucks and sold it for 150. Okay, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So when we say we got it at an auction, we use a site called estatesales.net or high bid or something like that. Yeah. And we do our auctions online. We do not go to a place with a thing and mm. then we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we are not those people. <laughs> These are online auctions. So every night at 7 p.m. There's normally, since we live in Dallas and a lot of people, there's lots of auctions. And we, we could probably buy stuff at auctions every single night. But we try not to. Try not. It's dangerous. It can it can kind of get away from you. You could dabble though if you've never done it. It can get away from me, is what I'm saying. Right. I've got some great junk there though. You can yes, dabble. Yes, you have. Twelve dollars for a VCR. That's great. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the last sale that we're going to talk about, uh, and this is a lesson in persistence. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody sent us an offer on Poshmark for this. Peter Millar Summer Comfort uh, Masters shirt. No fail brand, Peter Millar Summer Comfort, no fail. No fail. Uh, the Masters ones, for whatever reason, sell for around a hundred bucks. Okay, if you're like me, you're like, what? Masters is a golf tournament and it has a little, like a little yeah. embroidery it's on here. It's got the logo embroidered right Yeah, there. so look right. at the logo in our picture and that's the Masters version. Yes, if you find that Peter Millar Summer Comfort shirt, grab it. By all means. It comes in all colors, so not just blue. Yeah. Um, so we got an offer on Poshmark for this. What was the first offer? 25 25 bucks? I had it listed on Poshmark, I think, for $121 or something. Okay. Something like that. So $25. So 25 bucks. <laughs> okay. And I was like, uh, no, counter offer 100 or something. And then the guy kind of disappeared. And then he came back and offered... 50? Not even. It was 45? like 30 or something. This is this went back and forth a bunch. A couple times, yeah. So it was like 40 bucks, and then I think we just let that one expire. And then like two days later, he came back, and he was like, okay, 50. <laughs> uh, and I counter-offered, I think, 90 Probably, or something. Probably, yeah. And then today, he was like, all right. He offered 75 bucks, and I was like, okay. It's yours for 75 Yeah. <laughs> if we paid 7 for it into 75 what was our profit on it? 51 bucks. $51, right? yeah. That's after cost of goods. It's after fees. 51 bucks. Profit on a polo shirt. And we knew that guy really wanted it. <laughs> he really, really wanted it. So I think counter-offering, sometimes we shy away from that as resellers. But if somebody really wants something, yeah. they'll, they'll play ball. Oh, yeah. We probably could have got him higher. I think he was on the last one. Poshmark limits you. You Doesn't can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, it won't let you send offers to bundles once people haven't. Okay. 
you know. Okay. Accepted. I know on eBay there's a limit of like four. I, think. I don't. I think the Poshmark's a little more because y'all went back and forth quite a bit. I was watching it yeah. from my side. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was there with the popcorn. Like, hmm, how's this gonna go I was down? Like, babe, babe, Peter Malore guy's back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad we got to sell yeah. that. Um, the summer comfort shirts. If again, we have a lot of new people here. We sell them almost every week. And the logos don't matter. Like the Masters is the best one, but if it has a logo of a golf course, it'll still sell. Yeah, it'll still sell. Um, In fact, some of them are good. Average, yeah, average you can expect is like eh, 25 to 30 bucks. Yeah. Easy. Um, some of the more sought after or exclusive ones, like I said, can go for 50 to uh, over 100 bucks. We like to pack our videos full of things that are no fails. Fast flips and no fails so that you know when you're at the store, if I buy this, I'm going to be able to convert. Yeah. That is the name. We should just call us like the conversion couple or something. <laughs> like seriously, that's the name of the game that we're selling. That's changed our lives. Okay. How do we do this week? Here we go. The hair is pretty high. We sold 62 items. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Last week we sold 73. So, okay. Okay. We, I cross-listed 59 items. I'll just Good have you know. for you. That is something I've been struggling with, and I am happy with that number a little bit. Total revenue, meaning total sales. So the first number you've been seeing in our screenshots. All that added together was $3,352.73. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. For us, that's pretty good. Y'all, we're still kind of baby resellers. We're not like big time. We don't have a warehouse. It's pretty good. This is from our house. It's from that's, our master this closet. This is the second or third week in a row we've broken three grand. Third, right? Third or fourth. It might be the fourth. Yes. Yeah, consistency. Consistency and conversions. Oh, man. Consistency and conversions couple. We're, I mean, the three C's. There okay. <laughs> Cost of goods. Oh my gosh, I could do this. You can keep going. All right, I'm stopping. We uh, profited total from that, meaning, we were going to clarify this. Yeah. Meaning that that's what went into our bank account from these platforms. Cost of goods is taken out. Um, the fees are taken out. Right. And not taxes. Right. But, go ahead. Yeah, so this is, I want to, if there is a misconception, this is not going into our personal account and we're not just like, yeah, we <laughs> Okay. Uh, all of that profit goes into our business account and we use the majority of that to scale our business and get new inventory. Mm -mm. Well, you don't use the majority. No, the, I'm sorry. We use the, we use a quarter of it. Yeah. Because you have to pay yourself, you guys. You have to pay yourself. Yeah. You can't, we work this job for free. We worked this job for free for two years. Why did we do that? Was, we were trying to get to this point. Yes. So of this total profit, here you go, ready? Ready. $2,143.63. Sweet. Sweet. That's been, a, that's been a long time goal of ours is to make, uh, is to bring $2,000. We want to each make $1,000 a week and... We're almost there because what we figured out today is we spend an average of 75 at Goodwill every single day and it might be a little less because we've not been going on the weekends. True. So between four and five hundred dollars of that profit is going to go back to the Goodwill. Yeah. Which is fine. We're still almost at a hundred, I mean a thousand, a hundred thousand. <laughs> We're still at almost a thousand dollars each. Yeah. A week. Yeah. In actual spendable money. Right. And then, and you know, the, and the, the goal He's is excited. that that five hundred dollars of reinvested inventory will yield, you know, at least, what, $5,000 in sales? For sure. Yeah. Uh, we've been, and we, we're going to have we an end of the year it? video coming up because this is our first year of actually doing analytics yeah. for the whole year. And I can tell you right now, I just did our sell-through rate as of right now, and we have sold through 54% of our inventory that we've listed this year. That's really, really, really good. It's insane. So just, that means of, that means everything we've listed this year, we've sold 54% of mm -hmm. it. It came into our house and went out of our house. Nice. So I think that's pretty good. I'm sure there are people with better numbers, but for us, that means things are moving. Yeah. And that's what we hope to share with you here. We have no ulterior motives, but to share what's moving for us. And hopefully it can help you too, because there's room for everybody in this game. 
That's right. And Mojo. And Mojo. He is fine. He I'm is telling you. He's rambunctious right he now. He is trying to jump off the couch. Are you, are you good? Okay. okay. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.